Simone Kutzer and I am a finalist in the Miss Mrs. Africa UK pageant competition and this has challenged me to doing a lot of new things. Part of that is fundraising and being brave enough to demonstrate my cooking, the name of my heritage coming from South Africa and Durban specifically. Now the one thing that surprised me when I moved to the UK was that they just eat baked beans straight out of the can. And I was like, what? Never. <laughs> I have since done it, it's not so bad, it's not so bad, but my favorite way to have baked beans is just with a touch of curry. And so what I have here going is uh, some onions uh, braising. And I must make sure I turn the heat down. One of the key things to any time that you're doing a curry is to actually do it slowly. Um, this is something that took me a while to learn because I like to do everything fast. I also like to look for shortcuts. But there's no shortcuts to doing a good good cooking you've got to slow it down and you've got to pay attention uh, in there so i have my onions braising and i'm going to let that go uh, for about three four minutes until it starts to get slightly uh, brown and then what i'm going to be adding to it is special uh, durban curry spices now i've actually sent this to naomi and part of my reason for doing uh this cooking demonstration is fundraising for got your back naomi naomi has scoliosis and uh, one of the things she did enjoy was my mac and cheese and uh, sometimes she'd be brave enough to try some other dishes so i'm hoping that she's going to try this oh that just smells at home um you can add in if you don't have Durban curry powder use any curry powder I would use a, a small t a half a teaspoon of chili powder and then a teaspoon of curry powder depending on how hot you want it. If you make it too hot, so you, you just overdid it with the spices or you made it too salty, one of the things that you can do is cut up tomato and that, that will absorb the salt and um, it will absorb uh, the curry powder. Now I haven't got any chopped tomato so hopefully I'm going to get everything just right. Uh, but if you want chopped tomatoes in your baked beans, you can also do that. I'm going to skip on that today. Right, so looking at that, it's getting nice and soft. I don't want it to burn. I can see a few, but of it's getting edges. And so I'm going to add a teaspoon. I'm actually going to add two teaspoons today of uh, spices because I'm not using any chili powder. Um, you know, so if I don't have Durban curry powder, I would mix some chili powder and some Durban curry powder. And there you go. So I'm just going to add that in and let that braise for another minute or two. This gives me a great aroma. I'm very happy with that. I think I've got the balance of the curry powder just right. So now I'm ready to add in my baked beans. Make sure I get everything in. And now you just need to cook this according to the can's instructions. Um, for four to five minutes you don't again be careful not to burn it um, and I'm going to add in for some color and just some more flavor some smart puree and generally I just put in a bit of a, a bit of a glob if you like a bit of sweetness you could add in a touch of a squirt of tomato sauce I'm not really wishing for that today so I am just going to go with the tomato paste and stir that in then that is I can leave to simmer for four to five minutes the longer you let it go or if you if I, I then switch it off and then reheat it when my mac and cheese is ready perfect it's a nice side salad cucumber salad if you know me uh, that will be great and so that is it a simple baked beans curry doesn't take very long just a bit of onions a little bit of curry powder whoops I almost forgot to put the salt in 
just a little bit of salt uh, and it just brings out the flavor of the curry a bit more so i'll add in a wee bit of salt uh, in that and there you go So my favorite accompaniment with my mac and cheese is a baked beans curry and so as you can see very simple to make uh, and it goes really nicely I did overdo it a wee bit on the salsa there is one tomato that I cut in there uh, for it at the end when I reheated it and that is the favorite dish that I would have for my birthday meal uh, mac and cheese with baked beans curry and Naomi's favorite cucumbers on the side enjoy Thank you.